part of this documentary, I think. No, you know, you know, you're fine. You're part of our documentary. Well, they represent you being making history one last time. <laughs>
Majesty, Prince Philip, it is with great personal pleasure that I welcome you to the Cathedral of the Holy Trinity in historic Quebec City. For nearly 200 years, there has been, for use of a better word, a gentle association between the royal family and this church. And during that period of history, a number of visits have been made to this cathedral by the members of your family. It is our belief, however, that today you are the first reigning monarch ever to worship at the cathedral, and this makes the occasion a special one for us. Many years have passed since your last visit here, and as you are aware, much social and meaningful change has taken place in this province. Nevertheless, and despite the passage of time, I am able to say that the warm affection of this congregation and the surrounding congregations in this ancient part of the city, that warm affection for you and your family continues, and that the clergy and members of this vast diocese of Quebec and our francophone neighbors wish you a joyous and a happy visit here at Quebec. Bienvenue ici à Québec. Bienvenue parmi nous, la communauté chrétienne ici à Québec. Who say? 
The lesson is taken from the fifth chapter of the Gospel according to St. Matthew, beginning at the first verse. When he saw the crowds, he went up the hill, and there he took his seat, and when his disciples had gathered round him, he began to address them. And this is the teaching he gave. How blessed are these who know their need of God. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. How blessed are the sorrowful. They shall find consolation. How blessed are those of a gentle spirit. They shall have the earth for their possession. How blessed are those who hunger and thirst to see right prevail. They shall be satisfied. How blessed are those who show mercy. Mercy shall be shown to them. How blessed are those whose hearts are pure. They shall see God. How blessed are the peacemakers. God shall call them his sons. And how blessed are those who have suffered persecution for the cause of right. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. How blessed you are when you suffer insults and persecution and every kind of calumny for my sake. Accept it with gladness and exultation, for you have a rich reward in heaven. In the same way they persecuted the prophets before you. You are salt to the world, and if salt becomes tasteless, how is its saltness to be restored? It is now good for nothing but to be thrown away and trodden underfoot. You are light for all the world. A town that stands on a hill cannot be hidden. When a lamp is lit, it is not put under the meal tub, but on the lampstand where it gives light to everyone in the house. And you, like the lamp, must shed light among your fellows so that when they see the good you do, they may give you praise to your Father in heaven. Here ends the lesson. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us.
Seigneur notre Dieu, toi qui as conduit nos pères vers ce pays neuf, le Canada, et qui as veillé à leur donner une nombreuse descendance, fais que nous soyons des héritiers reconnaissants de tes bienfaits et dociles à ta volonté. Par Jésus, le Christ notre Seigneur. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, bless, we pray, our sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth, and Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, and all the royal family. Endue them with your Holy Spirit, enrich them with your heavenly grace, Prosper them with all happiness and bring them to your everlasting kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, Give unto thy servants that the peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, Amen.
God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. today has been a great day here in the cathedral. Uh, as you've seen, uh, we had a visit from Queen Elizabeth II, the first time that a ruling monarch uh, has visited uh, our cathedral here in Quebec City. Uh, this cathedral, of course, was built by one of her forebearers under his auspices in 1804. And although we have had uh, other royal visitors, never another, a reigning monarch, and I'm sure that it's something that everyone who was in this congregation this afternoon will never forget. I know I certainly won't.